five ways to draw him close to you. Hello, ladies, and welcome to this new video, very special video, because I have with me Antia Bod, a relationship expert that is just amazing. Hello, Antia, how are you doing today? Hi, Alex. I'm so good. How are you? I'm so good, too. I'm so happy to have you back on this YouTube channel. You know, there's a lot of women that wrote to me and told me that they loved your advice. So I wanted you back. And I want to make sure that you will help these ladies get this guy and make him just be close to them, be crazy about them. Uh, just for the first one that will discover you with this video, can you just introduce yourself and tell us what you do? Yeah, so I'm Antje Boyd. I've been helping single successful women for, gosh, almost 10 years now all over the world to attract the right man, to overcome trust issues. And I'm really particularly specializing in uh, attachment styles and really understanding everything on an embodied and on an energetic level because we may read all the books, Alex, but then how about it actually integrating, right? How come that we still sabotage <laughs> ourselves and have those conflicts inside of ourselves right and still yeah. give our power away so making sure that doesn't happen and you learn to trust yourself fully and step into your power so you can attract the deep connected long-term relationship into your own life this is a very beautiful mission and message that you're sharing because i know there is a lot of women struggling to really find the one to be in a steady relationship they are always in a position to be like in love with someone that is unavailable which is not mm -hmm. easy so mm -hmm. today I wanted to ask you, what could be the five ways to draw a man closer to you, closer to women? Um, what will be your advice on this topic? So numero uno, number mm -hmm. one, <laughs> is move from being him focused to being me focused. So what do I mean by that? So, so many women that come to me, Alex, right? Like they, they learn from their upbringing, right? To please the parent. So maybe they didn't get something in that childhood and they decided, hey, if I turn myself into a pretzel, right? And I don't focus on myself and what I want, but instead I learn to anticipate the other person's needs, then I will get the approval and then I will get the love. But unfortunately, that means actually the man is going to lose respect for you because those women put men on pedestals, right? Those women are the first one to call the men versus the men calling them. Those are the women who hang up the phone the last, right? So you see like, no, please don't hang up. Don't hang up, please. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and the man's like, oh, I need to breathe, <laughs> you know? So yeah, so really important. And what that really means, Alex, is to overcome all the stories that the women have around being me focused. So for example, the fear of like somebody saying, you are such a selfish biatch, mm -hmm. so to say, right? Like you are so self-centered, you're so self-absorbed, right? So there has to be a way that they fall in love with their self-absorption. So that when someone calls them out, maybe even a narcissist or a man who tries to manipulate her, right? Into having his own way with her to say, yeah, I'm selfish. Thanks for recognizing that. I'm taking care of myself. I hope you take good care of yourself too. This is very beautiful because it's just so aligned with my philosophy. Being selfish when we are a good person, I guess it's okay. You know, it's okay to trust ourselves. Uh, we know that we will just only do good, only do good for ourselves and for other people. So, you know, it's very funny what you're saying because I really hear this every single day. So I know what you're talking about and you know what you're talking about because this is coming from experience. So basically the number one way is to not be centered on a man, but to be centered on your emotions, what you need, what you want. It's maybe not easy in the beginning, but it's like a gymnastic. So if you do it a couple of days, it will become easier. Absolutely. Uh, now I want to know more, Antia. What will be like the number two advice that you can share with us today? It goes a little bit along what I shared before, which is be the one who ends the phone call first. Be the one who ends the date first. Leave him wanting more. So imagine you're going into a restaurant and you're getting yourself a little appetizer, right? Like a little ahi tuna snack. And then what is it? You want more, right? It was yummy. You want, but imagine <laughs> you go into a restaurant, they stuff you with like an entree. Like how, 
<laughs> how fast you want to roll out of that restaurant because now you're actually nauseous because you're overstuffed. <laughs> so that's how you really want to think, right? And you also, and Alex, you will probably be able to confirm that here is that a man is very much like respecting a woman who's like, oh, wow, she must have other things to do. I mean, she's hanging up with me. You know, all the women are after me and she has the nerves to end the date first and to say, well, that's been a lovely date. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night, right? I got to go to bed now because I have to get up tomorrow to get back to work, for example. This is so powerful. And I feel that the number one mistake that women are doing also is to let the date goes and goes and goes. And there is always a moment where the attraction is going down. And when you do that, that's when a man will stop really responding, engaging with you because you stay too much together. So I really love your advice. It seems like playing a game, but it is not. It's really to maintain the attraction. And as you said, when you have something to do after, this would just create so much challenge for a man. And we need this, we want this. It's very important. So basically, like Antia is saying, you need to stop the phone call, you need to stop the date, even if it's difficult, even if the attraction is high, that's when we need to just leave because we know that when we meet again, it will be wonderful. Absolutely. And then the man's like, oh, he's so much more likely to just text you immediately. It was like, oh, it was so great to see you, right? And we yep. have something in outside of our brain called Broca. Instead, that part that wants to predict everything. So if you just stop that, right? It kind of drives the man a little crazy because he wants to close the loop. He can't be with that cliffhanger. And that's exactly what you want. And that draws him close to you over and over again. Very close to you. And I love your example because the guy would just, even if he just left you, he will ask you, okay, but when can we meet again? Are you free on Tuesday? He will try to engage because he didn't get what he wants, which is <laughs> attention, your love, maybe the first kiss. So <laughs> this is very, very valuable tips. So thanks so much for sharing this, Antia. Um, let's go. I want to continue now. It's so cool. So what would be your tip number three? <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is actually goes along with this is it's fall in love with tension so you see a lot of women avoid tension especially if they're an anxious attachment style especially if they had at least one emotionally unavailable parent because that tension the unknown meant actually no i it's not safe right mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so they feel really uncomfortable they have no capacity to hold that tension. So what they want to do over and over again, Alex, they want to release that tension, right? So that they have the certainty. And this is funny because those are the kind of women who will literally sabotage and text a man so that they get a clear yes or no, even if they already know it's a no now, yeah, but at yeah. least they know that's the key word here, right? But guess what? When we're talking about seduction, when we're talking about flirting, when we're talking about, you know, kind of like, alluring that kind of energy right that's so magnetic to a man that is about knowing that that, that dance of the tension right like oh what is the man thinking how close does he want to come i don't know but isn't that also very exciting right so tell me alex what impact that has on you when a woman is able to hold that tension I have to be honest with you, I didn't realize before to become a relationship expert how much important it was. But when mm -hmm. I look back to my relationship, now I'm married, but even in my marriage in the beginning of the seduction, there is a lot of tension. It could be mm -hmm. sexual tension, attraction tension, flirting tension. And I always remember my wife that she didn't come on her first, no, the second date, sorry. The second date, she never showed up. And I would have been, oh, I don't want to talk to her. But then when she came back, I was like, no, 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 this is an opportunity. So even if you think that sometimes you're doing too much, you could become a challenge for a man and you need to enjoy the tension. Mm -hmm. But it's not easy. So Ancha, before we continue, I know that you have a very, very special event because yes. I know that every woman that will listen to this video, they will say, yes, but how can I do it? I know I'm like in an anxious attachment style. I'm codependent. I always give too much. Everyone can relate to your words, but how can they change? And I know that you have a very special virtual summit. Maybe you can give a few words and I will attach the link right below in the description. Yes. So ladies, I have that perfect uh, medicine for you, so to say. Real men, real insights. Yeah, right, mine too. <laughs> real men, real insights, men panel 
right? Because what I always hear is like, yeah, Antje, it's interesting what you have to share, but I really want to hear if that's really true. I really want to hear what are those guys really thinking, right? So those guys are really sharing what makes them draw being drawn closer to you, even more secrets like that. Uh, anything around online dating, tips that you may have not heard before, and also what you should avoid, right? What is a man thinking when he's not talking to you, right? Like when he's like not in love your it, presence. <laughs> and so, so all those thoughts that you have in your mind, ladies, like what is this guy thinking right now? All of those and more will be answered to you in the Real Man and Real Insights online retreat. And this is free, right? Correct. Oh, yeah, it's absolutely free. Yes. All so you have to I will do include all the link. And I That's think right. that I'm part of the panel. So maybe yeah. you will see me. Maybe, ladies. Maybe. So if you want to know more about it, just really click in the description, get your seat. You will have a lot of experts. And I know that you will receive a lot of value. So, Antia, thank you, dude, because you're doing a lot. And, you know, for everyone that is watching this video, you have to remember that it's not that easy to do that much video, organizing a virtual summit. I've done it once in my life. And I told Antia, I said, never again. It's way too much. It's a lot of stress. We have to make sure that every technical part will be managed. So thank you so much for sharing this to the world. I feel it's very valuable. Oh, thank you, Alex. Yeah, of it's course. my pleasure. So let's continue together. So we know that we need to love the tension. We need to, we need to stop the date, to stop the phone call. So what would be tip number four? So number four is call yourself out and be vulnerable. So what do I mean by that? So let me tell you a quick story. Of so course. after my husband and I, we were dating for about, I don't know, about a year or so. Uh, so well, it was maybe right before we got married. Um, you know, I was thinking sometimes, oh, you know, what do we do, ladies, when we don't get our way, right? I didn't get my way and I still wanted to get my way. So I was thinking, how do I get my way, right? How do I get him to feel like he did something wrong because he didn't even feel like he did something wrong? So I'm thinking about how I can manipulate him and how I can potentially punish him. But then hold on one second. I made myself a promise and I said that what I think, what I say and what I do needs to be in alignment. So I can have an authentic and trusting relationship with my man. So I was like, well, hmm, what does that mean now? That means I need to call myself out. So that's exactly what I did, Alex. So I walked up to Brody and I said, well, babe, you know, a part of me, my ego just uh, wanted to manipulate you. And now think about this, what my mind was thinking. My mind was thinking it's over. If you tell him that he's never going to trust you again, the relationship will be all done. Oh, and by the way, you, you tell him all your secrets. So you will also <laughs> never be able to manipulate him again, right? Because now he's aware of it, right? Mm -hmm. So, but instead what happened is Brody totally opened up, right? He was so surprised. And he's like, really? How did that part want to do that? Tell me more, right? And we got I a good know laughter. More. <laughs> <laughs> I want to learn what's going on <laughs> and maybe if he was doing that himself so what you're saying here is we have to stop being in the fear and in the interpretation oh if i do that he would say this then i will lose him so i should not say anything exactly. right if we want to right. drive a man closer it's very important to open up mm -hmm. do you think we can open our ladies can open saying i want you to Let's say be more attentionate. I want you to organize a new things. I want you to surprise me. Is this what you mean by just open up also? Yes, exactly. It's, it's also about creating intimacy, right? Living mm -hmm. on the edge. Like Alex, so many people are growing apart, right? Or sort of like it just fizzles out. Why? Well, mm -hmm. because there's no real authenticity, there's only a certain way how a woman shows herself that she feels is acceptable. And it's just, it's just bland, right? Because the man can feel there's more to it, but she just like, she doesn't go there. She doesn't go into a wild woman and finds her raw, or she doesn't really find her edge. She doesn't risk anything, right? If you never risk anything, you could never really also come back, right? It's kind of like, if you want to know how much a man really loves you, let him go risk yeah. and something right and then see if he comes back of if he course. came back he really loved you yeah and he really care about the relationship so exactly i just feel that this is an advice that will create a lot of fears for the people i coach because we have the fear to do a mistake but if you follow your heart and what i love in your advice it was very like 
a communication without emotions, like without anger, without being too needy also. It's mm -hmm. a very valuable communication and it's very, very important. And um, also it really led to us before the night before a wedding to do a real shadow ceremony. So where Brody and I both got to acknowledge what we're afraid mm -hmm. of. Because yeah. if you can't be intimate, Alex, forget longevity, forget anything be sustainable. It's not going to happen. So if you want a long-term relationship, you have to be willing to go there. And guess what? There's going to be so much healing mm -hmm. that comes from there. So much healing. And so much it's, just, it's when we face our fears that we get the results. I've just realized that open communication is very important when yeah. the relationship is healthy, because I coach a lot of women, they are with someone that could be a narcissist, someone that is just egocentric, centered in self. You have to be careful, ladies. The tip that you're sharing on here, I feel is very important, but sometimes men can manipulate. So it's very important to find the right balance. What do you think of this? Yes, absolutely. So now I talk about, everybody saw in the container of Brody being healthy, he had learned a lot about himself, right? So there was mm -hmm. a certain level of trust, but yep. I didn't know how he's going to react, right? So there's kind of like, you have a little bit of a foundation, but there's also an uncertainty. Of course, if you're dealing with an abusive narcissist, a psychopath, a sociopath, do you open yourself up? Absolutely not, right? So you're going to watch the YouTube videos from Alex, where he talks about like <laughs> when to run, who are the wrong guys and so on and so on, right? Yep. So of course, <laughs> good, good word here, um, word of caution and distinction. But on the other hand, not to take that as an excuse to That's not true. open yourself up that when you're not dealing with a narcissist or someone who takes advantage of it and you just may have this fear, right? To know, to kind of notice distinction. That's why it's important to have a coach, that, to have to have someone who is a mirror for you and who can see what your unique patterns are and if they fall into that category. It is very valuable and it's important to face your fears and try your best to not have any regrets. So before Antia sharing the last tip, I wanna make sure that you will sign up for the free virtual summit. You will have a lot of like men relationship experts, a big panel of people that are here to help you. And I know that the, always the last one is the best one. I want to know exactly what would be your last tip, Antia, please. <laughs> so the last one is cause a pattern interrupt, Ooh. right? So what, is, what in the world does that mean? So remember, I talked about this brain, this broker part we talked about, right? That predicts what's going to happen. And if the brain thinks I can just predict it, it's just going to check out, right? It's like, I already know the answer. Right. It's kind of like when you go online dating and you already tell a guy the story, they're like, why should I go on a date with you? I already know all the answers. So what you want to do instead is like you want to cause a pattern interrupt. You want to show up in a new way, surprise him, surprise yourself. So maybe you're always like that fun little girl energy, then go into that fiery, you know, wild woman. Right. Or maybe you're always the wild woman and you never sensual or slow your energy down do something different you know maybe have a date where you barely talk if you always talk surprise the guy who's like who is this woman is she this or is she that now i need to go on another <laughs> date with her and another date with her to find out who is she alex do you agree with that i i can no more that agree because i just realized that every mistake we do it's a mistake that we will repeat all the time. It's kind of like we, it reinsure us, okay, I will do this. Even if it didn't work the first time, maybe it will work this time. Mm. There is no way it would work. So mm. if you can interrupt the pattern, I can guarantee you ladies that you will have a lot of results. You will learn a lot also about yourself and you will realize that sometimes we have one vision. So it's very good to open our visions, to be open-minded, to try new things. And as you said, when you do something different, you open like numerous opportunities. So you will know how to behave, how to attract, how to make him commit, and of course, how to make him closer to you, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's possible. Mm -hmm. And we always exchange also with Antia in private communication, but it's just that you can do it. I wanna conclude the video on this Antia, if you can share a word about the people, like the women you coach, they get results. Like it's possible 
but you have to you have to apply these five tips that's it absolutely where you have to be coachable and that really is being willing to lean into the tension you know i call it the oven of transformation alex and that you know when you have a piece of iron and you put it in the oven what happens it starts to melt right yeah. but if you want a transformation we need to uh, allow ourselves to melt so we can become a new form but <laughs> nobody ever wants to go for that so when we have a certain heat of the and we start to quote unquote lose ourselves right like that's not me aunt here that's not me alex like i'm not i'm not i'm not that kind of girl right mm -hmm. like that's where the transformation starts and if you're willing to lean into that i promise you it's kind of like the famous caterpillar turning into a butterfly and you have to trust that because the caterpillar doesn't know that in that moment <laughs> yeah <laughs> there would be no prediction of that right yeah we have to feel the uncertainty but we have to trust ourselves um, so ladies, you know that you can apply these tips. You can also get the love life you want. Antia, can you talk a little bit about the virtual summit? What is it? How many interviews? If you can give us a little bit of explanation, but the link is in the description. It's free. So normally you don't need explanation, but just yes. let's go sign up. And Antia, if you can share your vision with this summit. Absolutely. So it's really one, one thing is really to learn to understand men. Right, because there is so much happening when women misunderstand men. So I carefully curated 10 high level love and relationship men coach, right? Like co coaches who are men, right? So I can really say I'm listen to the male brain. So mm -hmm. finally, the war between the genders is starting to come a little bit uh, more to an end, so to say. And there is going to be more compassion, right? Maybe there is more patience. Maybe there is just a different language, how you're going to phrase something, or maybe you're not going to take something so personal that when a man says something, it's like, oh, it means like, no, it just means exactly what he just said. But you would know that if you wouldn't have listened to the uh, real man, real insights panel, right? And those are quality men. So we really say real men, real insights, right? Like, so men who have proven track records, who've been there, who are in relationships, right? And who, who are, who've gone their own, through their own journey and to, under, to understand also the difference. Like, well, how is it? What do they need to explain a little more? So mm -hmm. you are truly, truly, truly connecting with men and no longer coming from a place of fear and from a place of manipulation. And ladies, let's face it, we'll all do it. You know, <laughs> society is just like trained us to do it, right? But instead we come from authenticity. We come from trust. Right, and we come from love. So sign up, link yeah. us right below this video. <laughs> I will include all the links. Remember that today you have all the options. You can also follow Antia's YouTube channel. There is a lot of good videos. So, ladies, it's time for you now to just get control of your love life. And Antia, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your tips. Was amazing. It should, it could be, it should be a life changer for you, ladies. So make sure that you smash the like button for this video, that you subscribe to my YouTube channel, and then you sign up for the virtual summit. It's just an amazing moment. You will have a lot of experts and knowledge to acquire. So ladies, it's your mission now to sign up and change your life. Antia, thank you so much one more time. I will see you soon on the YouTube channel. I will, I will be glad to have you again. <laughs> oh, so looking forward to it, Alex. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take care, ladies. Ladies, I really hope that this video helped you and that you know today how to change your love life. If you want to continue your journey with me, you need to subscribe, but you need also to watch this video. This video is related to the one you just watched. So make sure you click here and continue your journey with me. I will see you soon, ladies. Bye-bye.